guys, welcome back to the channel. All right, a cheap or low cost, shall I say, inverter from China, are they any good? Okay, this is actually a follow-up video to the video I recorded yesterday. Um, there'll be a link to that on the screen here and in my uh, comments below, so do check that out, where I did an extensive test on this inverter in our uh, camper, running on a 120 amp hour uh, SLA sealed lead acid battery. Uh, the test went really, really well. I was really impressed, but I thought, let's do another video. I'm going to open this uh, inverter up and have a look inside and show you guys and just take a look at what's the quality of the build on this product. Um, as I say, I've just received this from China directly. Uh, it was about half the price or less than buying something retail off the shelf here. Um, I did uh, do quite a bit of research and looked at lots of different ones available before purchasing this one. So again, let's have a quick look inside. I'm also going to try and do a, um, a quick test to see if this really is a pure sine wave inverter. So stick around and keep watching. Okay, let's take a look inside of the unit here now we've got it open. Um, there's a couple of things I wanted to show you guys here and a couple of things I actually wanted to, to see for myself. Uh, when I purchased this inverter, I was able to see a photo of the inside of this unit before I purchased this particular one, which is one of the reasons I actually bought this exact unit. Now, on your DC input side of the inverter here, you will notice on your positive and negative, we actually have... So on your positive side, you'll see three separate cable runs coming out here into your main circuitry from your positive terminal and also the same on the negative terminal. Now this is great to see because what it means is, is that we're distributing the very high current flow that's coming from our DC battery at 12 volts into the inverter. So because bearing in mind, if this inverter is going to be powering out 2000 watts continuous at a rough calculation with a bit of efficiency loss there would be close to 200 amps of dc coming into this inverter so split three ways that means we've still got about 60 amps through each of these three cables here which is quite high i mean that size cable there i think is still a bit marginal for that so i would suggest you know, you wouldn't want to run this inverter at more than uh, 12 to 1500 watts uh, for a reasonably long length of time because these cables will get really, really hot. Now, looking close up inside the unit, I do note that there are two banks of three 50 amp fuses inside this unit. So, yes, it can take a peak of, in theory, 300 amps of current flow in here before those fuses will blow. So if you ever do have a fault with a unit like this, it is worthwhile checking inside to see if you do have internal fuses that have blown. But it's good to see they've built fuses in here. Okay, so the moment of truth with this inverter. Um, I guess partly a quality test here as well. Um, this inverter is sold as being a pure sine wave inverter, as it says on the cover here. Um, but is it? Yes, it actually is. Um, so I've actually powered it up using a desktop power supply here because I didn't want to carry a heavy battery into the table here. So what I have done is I have connected a very small load to this because I did want to have some load on the inverter while checking the waveform. So I've got a little light. It's only 12 watts, but I don't have a big power input here, so I don't want to put a heavy load. But um, you can probably see at a distance the uh, oscilloscope reading here. But there's a very clean uh, sine wave here. I'll do a close-up with the camera in just a moment. Um, looks pretty darn clean. Um, so overall, again, I'm pretty impressed here. Um, it is what it says it is. So let's do a close-up. So there we go with a bit of a close-up. You can see I've got our uh, power supply here at 13.6 volts. Powering the inverter, that's just the same as if it was on a battery anyway. Um, our inverter running here with the cover off. Again, be very careful if you're doing stuff like this. I am extremely cautious with my connection points here and my probes because that is mains voltage. Now, but if we have a look on the screen, 
see the nice clean red sine wave on there so this is actually yeah quite a nice clean um, sine wave output on this inverter uh, I'm quite impressed just ignore the um, the bluish colored square wave behind my uh, oscilloscopes doing a few funny things lately um, but actually just as a reference um, this so this rightly is a pure sine wave inverter as you can see with the red um, the cheaper um, low-cost inverters some of them are sold which are called modified sine wave and what you'll see is on on one like that is you'll have almost a square wave like you can see little square waves uh, in on the blue trace here but usually they're a blocky sort of shape to create a rough sinusoidal sort of shape but you know there are a lot of um, pieces of equipment that just won't run uh, safely or properly on a modified sine wave uh, output uh, whereas again on this inverter we've got our nice clean um, sine wave okay so if I wanted to be really picky here I have actually just zoomed in on the sine wave here and you'll see there's a little bit of noise on the waveform uh, if you look a bit closer up there and what that actually is really is the um, inverter circuitry switching on and off on and off on and off to create uh, that um, well as close as possible a sine wave um, but that's you know an indication when I'm looking at that of of pulse width modulation which is flipping basically flipping the coils uh, energizing them on and off to generate the uh, the voltage curve so but I mean the the quality of the the sine wave overall I think would be uh, I can't imagine any devices not running perfectly fine on this inverter and I would say even your highest quality pure sine wave inverters will probably have a similar appearance to that uh, with noise so there you go so there you have it guys uh, a great little test on this inverter um, in summary I think it's a great little inverter a uh, great value for money this cost me less than around about a hundred US dollars landed and delivered which was well under the half the price of another unit I looked at retail uh, that had about half the power rating so if you're looking for an inverter you know shop around online um, even take a look at this exact one I will put a link in the description below so you to help you guys find this um, also please check out the other video which I did testing this in our camper uh, a link on the screen above here and at the end of the video and if you find this information useful you know great if you could uh, click the thumbs up click the like uh, maybe even subscribe I am going to add a lot more information uh, about the 12 volt electrical system installation in our camper uh, that we've been building here for the last uh, six or nine months. So check it out guys and thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.